In this video, we're gonna talk about using automation to your advantage in trading. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So, in this video, I wanna talk about using automation to your advantage. What do I mean by that? Now, let me just get that out of the way. I'm not talking about running an algorithm or anything like that. What I'm talking about is using the power of automation or systemizing to reduce the cognitive load on your brain when you're trading. Let me explain what I mean. The whole idea now, we have this situation in the current environment we're trading in now, is that there's so many free filtering tools available out there, alert tools. We need to utilize them. How do we utilize them for best effect? The first one is exactly what I said, guys. It's alerts. You know. We don't need to be sitting in front of the screen. If we have a price level we want to get involved in, set an alert. We can use this automatic alert that says, hey, the price is getting close. Don't set it exactly at the price you want to get involved in. Or you're going to be pegging it back to your screen, diving in your chair and making a decision. No, 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 no. You've got a level you want to trade at, right? Then put your kind of fuzzy zone around it that says, hey, when price gets to there, alert me whether that's a swing trading, a day trading, whatever, on your mobile, on your desktop, whatever. There's so much alerts out there. We don't need to go into it. You know the score, plenty of them. That then says, okay, it leaves you the time free to do other stuff, but I want to get involved in that because I've already analyzed that that's a level I want to be involved in. I want to look at, I want to make a decision. Perfect. Utilize alerts. Very underutilized. I think a lot of people sit in front of the screen and they check things too much. But in reality, you get a list of stuff that you want to do, a price levels you want to do business at. You set your alerts you know, near them so that you can then monitor from that point on if you want to and say, hell, it's close to it. Let me see. It's close to my zone where I'm interested. I will now monitor it more actively. But why waste the cognitive load monitoring something that a computer can do for you without any problem? And also, this is not taking away the decision-making process. Don't get me wrong. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about here, not automating the decision-making process for you. But automating the filtering process, which brings me on to number two, filtering. So if you have a strategy that you can use on any market, then why waste time manually looking to the market when you could add a filter, something like finviz.com or your broker or whatever, and say, hey, I want to trade something that is at all time highs, or I want to trade something that's done, you know, triple the volume today, the next day, Whatever it may be, it could be anything. I'm not going to go into all the filters here. You know, you'll know yourself, your strategy, the filter you want. Do you want something that's approaching a double bottom? Do you want a moving average crossover that at least alerts you to stuff that's potential? So maybe something that's at highs now, it's crossing moving average back over. Whatever. It's unlimited permutations you can make on that. But the beauty is, is you're then only looking at stocks and the massive sphere of stocks, the massive universe of stocks. You're at least segmenting it or not even stocks, guys, currency pairs, indices, anything, you can at least narrow it down and say, hey, this one is matching my criteria for range, for volume, for whatever criteria you put in. So using that filtering process and then setting your alerts, so letting the computer do a lot of the legwork for you. Same as well, if we, if we, you know, we've got that broad filter. Let's say if we've got a micro filter and we say, okay, we're day trading kind of a few markets and we only want to get involved when we have an overbought stochastics, oversold stochastics, moving average here, this or that, then we can narrow it right down. We can say, hey, please alert me when, you know, send an audible alert. I'm going to be in the office. I will hear it, but it means I don't have to be watching it. So even that could be 15 minutes later, but 15 minutes when you you're giving your brain time to rest. You haven't got the cognitive load of looking at the chart, looking at the chart and waiting for it to go overboard, 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 or whatever the condition may be, whatever indicator may be. You don't have it. You can step away. It's being taken care of. You've got the guardians, if you like, the automation all out there scanning and waiting for the opportunity, the filter criteria that you've got to say, hey, listen up, listen up. Now it's happening. Come in. Please now do your discretionary analysis. Some people go one step further and automate that. Personally, I like to have that discretionary aspect in my trading. I like to have a filter where I'm like, this has got to see this, this, and this before I'll look at it. So once those conditions are met and you can automate a lot of those, and once they're met, then it then it gets your attention. Then it's then it's it's kind of worthy of your attention. Until then, don't waste your attention on stuff. So that's an idea. 
automating, uh, using automation to your advantage. It's very easy, very cheap, very almost free, free for most things. Use it to set alerts to save watching stuff all the time. Use it to filter so that you're only filtering out the very best opportunities that you know need these parameters for you to look at. And even though it's a simple thing and you might be watching this thinking, well, it doesn't mean it doesn't that much of an advantage. Honestly, reducing any cognitive load you can um, and also from a perspective of if you're trading it, you don't have to know, double check that all these filters are done. You know it's done because it wouldn't have been brought to your attention with, if the filters weren't matched. So again, you're just looking at the process and saying, hey, I know it's one of the criteria. Do I take it? Don't I take it? Where's the risk? All that stuff without having extra, extra stuff to think about. So something to consider, guys. Automation for your trading. Thoughts and comments below. As always, take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.